It's a normal business day at the West Hills Mall in the Gansouth South municipality, even though a life was lost in a brutal manner at the main entrance of the mall only a day before. The management would not release CCTV footage to City News, but portions of an amateur footage taken by an eyewitness and cited by City News shows Shadrach lying on the floor, handcuffed. Here is an eyewitness describing what he saw. I was coming out from the parking lot. Yeah, then I saw, you know, the crowd. Then uh, I saw the police. Uh, they handcuffed uh, a young man, you know. They, he was on the floor. Then according to people, they, they were saying that uh, the police was conducting a search on the young man. And uh, all of a sudden, the guy started running. Then uh, he chased the guy, the young man. So apparently he was shouting, you know, thief, thief, thief. Then uh, people helped, you know, apprehend the boy and uh, he was held. Who was shouting? The, the police. When he was conducting the search, the guy, I think he, he discovered something in the guy's bag. Then uh, the guy quickly removed the unknown uh, substance from, you know, the bag, placed it in his pocket, and they started to run. So he started shouting. The, as he couldn't get hold of the guy, he started shouting so that people can help, you know, hold him down. The guy was held down, handcuffed. Then they were trying to, you know, search him. Out from nowhere, another young man came out from uh, the mall again. And he was holding a, uh, what's the name? A taser. A taser. Taste, you know, taste this guy in, in the rib, neck, you know, in the hand, under his feet. You saw these? Yeah. Then the police, you know, they were standing. They were standing there. Then the, uh, a man was asking, who is this person tasing? Because he was not in uniform. If, you know, if... They are arresting somebody, and uh, uh, he, he happens to be the police, you know, tasing, we understand. You know, so, but this guy is a civilian. Then, before we... Uh, was in civilian clothes. Clothes. So, before we, 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 we realized that the, the, the suspect on the floor, he was not moving, he was not responding. You know, then he was taken away. Managers of the mall would not speak to City News. They however shared a holding statement indicating that the deceased was accompanied by another man. There is no further comment on the other man, not from the wager police, who are tight-lipped on the matter, nor the management of the mall. Amor Blay, uncle of the deceased, tells City News there were bruises on the body of his nephew, which has since been deposited at the police morgue. He's supposed to send uh, a small boy, that is our sister in Germany's son, for a DNA test, which is today, because the boy is traveling within the week. And he's, his papers is also being processed for him to travel next week to Germany. We saw some bruises on the body. The family is demanding justice. All that we are asking for is justice. That's all that we are asking for. And... We will make sure that we will go to the full length of this matter to make sure that we get justice for him. Whoever is involved, uh, no one will be left out. City News understands the man who tased the deceased is in police custody. Lawyers of the family have been speaking to City News. There are challenges of what we call um, uh, occupies liability in terms of the West Hills Mall management because uh, this incident happened at West Hills Mall. And uh, we believe that if they had taken due care and the uh, security officers had acted more professionally, uh, this wouldn't have happened. Then uh, the, the complicity of uh, armed police officers who were supposed to have protected you know, the victim, uh, rather actively participated, uh, holding him down, handcuffing him on the floor, allowing others to use tasers on him until he passed out and was pronounced dead on, on 
uh, uh, arrival. So clearly, um, I believe that all persons who were actively involved, uh, we are demanding that they are investigated. In fact, they are arrested, investigated, and prosecuted. And um, we have instructions to hold criminal watching brief uh, for the victim and the victim's family. And not only that, uh, we are also considering a civil action uh, against both Wessels Mall and the Ghana Police Service. And the Police Professional Standards Bureau has commenced investigations into the allegation and has contacted Madame Perpetua Didier to assist in investigations. We would like to assure the public of a thorough investigation into the matter. For the family of Shadrach, they will not relent until all persons involved in his gruesome killing are apprehended and made to face the law. For City News, I am Caleb Kuda.